We're trying to get the ball into Jokic. We get it right there. We decide to back down with L2. There's nobody to back down. We get a little bit lucky here. So we're simply going to let go of L2, press R2, and then hold the right analog stick down and finish with a nice standing dunk. In addition to a player's standing dunk rating, one wants to look at their strength rating. Uh, they want to have decent dribbling skills, and you want to look for a matchup. Here we've got a good matchup inside. We're going to pass the ball to Jokic. And we're simply going to hold down L2, and then back the defender down, back him down more, back him down more. Now we're going to let go of L2, and we're going to go ahead and hold down R2, and then press the right analog stick down, and we get a nice dunk that finishes with a foul as well. Now as far as ratings are concerned, one could probably do this with a 50 rating if there were no defenders, like in practice mode, but in a real game there are defenders, so you're probably going to need a minimum 80 in a really good matchup or a 90-95 rating. And again, I like to have a very strong strength rating because it helps exploit the uh, matchup differential against tougher players and stuff like that. And of course, that's going to wrap it up. As always, for more tips on 2K22, there's a playlist on this channel. To make it easier to find, I will put a link in the description. Thanks for watching.